Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros Sports Companion Show. It's not even Tuesday. It's not even Tuesday. We're live from Orlando, Florida, the home of Casey Anthony, where we're kicking off college football with Florida Gators versus the Miami Hurricanes. There's a couple of you fans in here. Jesus Christ. Miami is nothing but cocaine and hot hangers. You put hangers on the stove and just just burn your women. That's all you guys do down there. <laughs> the dirtiest university of all fucking time down there. It's prisoners. It's just prisoners you guys are putting on the field. Aaron Hernandez. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, we're live from Tactical Brewery here in Orlando. This is one of the finest craft beer establishments uh, we've ever had. He's in the military. Yeah. He's one of you. He's one of you, man. One of you. What is that? One mean? of you, man. You he's people. One, he's one of your brethren. He's one of your, <laughs> one of your brothers. Yeah, he's a uh, dick and balls for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so th they've been open about nine months. They opened on Veterans Day. If you yeah. were in the Orlando area, you've got to stop by Tactical Brewery. Yeah, it's great. And get wet. We had a house party last night that was of epic proportion. Um, a lot of white claw. Where do we start? Uh, we had a, a woman who specialized in clown pornography yeah. on the show last she night. She was super classy. Guest. Very classy. Despite the clowns and pornography. Very classy yeah. woman. Um, if my wife were to get into clown pornography, I hope that she would grow up to be her. I, although she was younger, is that weird? Saying you, you grow up and you idolize somebody? Well, you're, you're reverse aging, so I think it makes sense. I am. By the time wife, the yeah. game starts, obviously, I'll be in a diaper. Um, yeah. Because I look younger and younger. You don't know me but you should. Uh, I can tell you this, since you don't know me yesterday, I look younger than I did yesterday. That's true. Uh, this is my grandfather, by the way. <laughs> this, is my gran this is Grandpa Dan. He is here. Uh, are you going for Florida or, or Miami tonight? I don't watch football. You don't watch football. Get her a white claw and get her the fuck out of here then. Because <laughs> it's college football season in here. I don't watch football. You know girls who say that, the next line out of their mouth is, I don't do anal. <laughs> I don't watch football. I don't do anal. Uh, I'm totally kidding. You probably look like you do. No, I'm, 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 I'm overstepping. I'm, over, I'm overstepping. You definitely have. Um, I'm super sorry. Um, I've had 90 of these. This is uh, live, obviously, on YouTube. I've had 90 of these today. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hyped up. Which because, one are you drinking there, guys? Uh, this is the Crayon Eaters. I believe it was named after the Marines. Yes, they eat crayons. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah, we had about 16 of these. Uh, last night, also, we had a, a traditional Florida man on the show. And we asked what had happened to him and what he had done and how he had gone to prison. And he said, yes. Came down, sat between D'Anthony and I. It turned out he served seven and a half years for attempted murder. Yep. So that was a real thing last night. <laughs> Clown pornography. A guy who attempted murder. The girl who took off her top and jumped into the hot tub. Well, that was his wife. Oh, yeah, it was his wife. But the way she slowly eye-fucked me, it was like, you want this, don't you? And I was like, I'm, I'm sitting next to your husband who attempted murder and served seven and a half years in jail. No, I don't want that. And if you could not make eye contact with me. And then immediately I turned to him and I was like, what would you go to jail for? And he goes, man, somebody was looking at my lady, grabbed her ass, and I fucking beat him in hell. And I was like, definitely not staring at your new wife's tits. So... We could scratch that from your memory. That would be fantastic. Uh, today, we're brought to you by MyBookie.com. Uh, for all your gambling needs, uh, promo code DRINKINGBROS will double your deposit all the way up to $1,000. Me personally, D'Anthony, I put the house on it tonight. We put $1,000 on Florida. You think this is a two-score game? I do. I think it's a two-score game. I got it at I got it at minus seven. Who's who's betting on the game out here today? Yeah, who's Anybody? who's betting on the game out there? Show of hands, you dirtbag. Then We're shut in the fuck up. All you motherfuckers have bookies down here, dude. <laughs> All you dirtbags. Are you kidding me? There's a couple, but you look like you've sucked a dick to get out of a bet. Hey, whatever it takes. Twenty bucks, twenty bucks. Uh, look, we've all been there, a mouse to mouth. You know, you're super desperate. Uh, yeah, I've, I've done it. Are you are you talking to your wife right now? Don't tell her that that you sucked a dick for money. Oh, yeah, he's, oh, he's going to be on the... Both of those dickholes are going to be on the cruise later this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking forward to the uh, the Drinking Bros cruise. Let's start it. Let's get a Miami fan on here. Uh, come on, why don't you come on? You've got the chain on. You've got the chain on. Let's, let's come on up. 
The beauty of this show, I what we like to do is, is tape it on a Saturday. Yes. It airs on Tuesday night, so all the people who talk shit and lost can live with this for the rest of their lives, and they have to fucking. Speaking live of on losing, did you, lo- did you did you lose the check. actual chain in some kind of gambling situation? Yeah, or? I don't have enough money for that. That's so. fine. We'll get you there. Oh okay. yeah, you don't have no, a seat, I, guy. Don't I, be yeah, shy. come on in. Come on in. Uh, so how, how did you go to graduate from Miami? I graduated from Miami, yes. You did? Yep. How hard is that? Because it doesn't seem like it's very hard. Uh, it was not extremely challenging, but it was, it was up there. Yeah, it's still an ACC school. Yeah. Yeah. It so, seems like it's pretty easy to get away with murder down there, though. I didn't try that, so well, I wouldn't know. Well, go look, back for your grad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go <laughs> and back. murder a couple of people, and then you'll be famous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's, uh, who's, your, who's your all-time favorite team? All-time favorite team? Yeah, was it that 91 team? Well, I wasn't alive for that, so. Really? Yeah. You look a little older. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. How old are you? Uh, me? Yeah. 26 right now. So what year were you born? 92. Jesus Christ. You, see, you were conceived after that. So after you won the, the national championship, your parents had you. Yeah, your parents were big fans of that 91 team. Yeah. They, they went we home after your the dad game. On the show. Your mom was probably crowning right when they won the <laughs> national championship. They had unprotected sex. Yeah. And, and she started crowning, and uh, you have a middle name. Is it Kane? No. It's not. not no. <laughs> it's not. Is it Hura? No. Okay. Okay. Just checking. W- w- the U is supposedly back this year. You guys got a new coach. It's Manny Diaz. Yeah. Yep. Uh, who's your quarterback? You got a freshman quarterback who beat out Tate Martell. Yeah. We got, yeah, Williamson. So he's good, but I don't know. This, it's a, it's the, a new team, new quarterback, new coach, so. The lack of confidence coming out of you right now is just before hey, the show. Well, you were like, right the U is no. back. We're, we're going to beat the Gators. You are going to beat the Gators. But, okay. but it's a new team. So after that, you don't know. But we're going to beat the Gators because they fucking suck. And Ooh. they're not. Look, they're number eight in the country. That tonight. doesn't fucking mean anything. Well, uh, apparently the analysts think so. Uh, all oh. your favorite players are going to be here tonight uh, for the, all the Hall of Famers. Oh, yeah. Ray Lewis murdered two people. Yep. Um, went happens. to Miami. He'll be here. Aaron Hernandez is not going to be able to make it. No, <laughs> no. Because he's, uh, he's fucking dead. He's on the fl- He's on the Gators, yeah. He's, <laughs> no, he's hanging in there somewhere else. Uh, Aaron he's Hernandez. on a private Kevin island Nick. somewhere, actually yeah. hiding. Yeah, yeah no. Um, boy. Fucking Aaron Hernandez. I, look, I, God bless Urban Meyer. He's a champion. He coached Florida to how many championships? He won. You guys won two championships back to back. Tim Tebow. So you had Christ and then the criminals. Christ and the criminals was that team. You guys were unstoppable. You guys went on a hell of a run. He comes to Ohio State. Hell of a run. We won. I'm fine with him hiding crim- criminals. Uh, now Miami hasn't been so lucky. You guys had cruises with cocaine, Bernie Kosar. Do you remember all that fucked up shit? No, I was too young no, for that shit. No, he's fucking 12 years old. He doesn't know anything. It's about five years ago. <laughs> so f- five years ago, it came out, all these videos, how they were taking recruits on private cruises with prostitutes and cocaine. Um, it's Miami. What yeah, it expect? is Miami. Like, yeah. What's it like going to school there? Is it just a nonstop party because you're on the strip? There's, there's a lot of partying, yeah. Not a lot of academics. Not a lot of academics. Not a lot of academics. academics. What's your degree in? Engineering. That's, you're a smart motherfucker. That's right. I claim to be, yeah. What do you do in real life? I uh, do automotive brake systems. That was not what I was expecting when you said engineering. <laughs> I thought you were like a pimp or a coke dealer. Or yeah. Something. No. Are you, are you a narc? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. Because you have a, you, you kind of a narc look right now. <laughs> I think you have to be able to grow facial hair to be a narc. You do. You yeah, do. Yeah. I, I can't do that. That is true. Well, you'll get there. Don't worry. It's so what's, what's your final prediction on the, on the score tonight? I would say 23-17. 23, Miami. 2317 Miami. I like it. Again, the beauty is this air the show airs on Tuesday nights. You'll, you'll so when I'm right, he- no, I will feel really good that. about myself. Again, yeah. Danthony, I put a put a grand on this game. Yeah, just go ahead and let everybody know what your name is. So yes, full they name. can ridicule uh, you mercy. Birth name, there. government name, no nickname. My name's okay. Oliver. We'll, we'll go with that. Oliver? Yeah. Last name Twist? No. Just checking. Uh, what is it, Oliver? What's your last name? So we can look at Doggart. Doggart? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oliver Doggart. Doggart. Oliver yeah. Doggart. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not twist though. No, not twist. It could be. No. After tonight, it's gonna be. Uh, I'm kidding. I'll give you a loaf of bread on the way out. Uh, let's get a. Uh, let's get the Christian Bale lookalike up here. Yes. Yes. I walked in. Did you and notice? I said, he Holy shit! There's somebody more famous than me. I was like, it's Christian Bale. Motherfucker, you look identical to him, dude. Yeah, yeah. Just a tinier version. That's all. You just yeah, gotta get a those pocket version of, of Christian you gotta, Bale. You gotta get those Tom Cruise platform shoes and you'll be Yeah. Fine. That's why we're a cowboy boots. 
Yeah, yeah welcome, know. welcome. Hold, hold it close to your mouth. Will do. Now, you work at Tactical Brewery, correct? No, I'm actually one of, uh, I actually build golf courses for a living. Oh, no shit. So yeah. you just drink a lot. Yeah. Okay, that, great, great. It's kind of how it were, worked out. You were here so much, I thought you worked here, but no, you definitely don't. No, you don't want me to pour your beer. I'll fuck it up. No. How many times do you get Christian Bale in real life? Um, basically every time I'm in public. Every single time, right? So yeah. is that why you're a transient and skipping from town to town? Are you grifting people as Christian Bale? It pays bar tabs. I bet it does, dude. Because you even have the same eyes. You know that, right? Well, that's weird. Don't look at my eyes. It's, I, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> that was a deep cut it. right there. <laughs> no. I'm caught up in it. My, who's your favorite Christian Bale? Mine's Christian Bale on The Machinist when he was like 110 pounds. First of all, that was epic to be able to do that. Crazy, right? Yeah. You know he got AIDS for that? Yeah, <laughs> that's but how we a, lost all the weight. But there's a cure, right? Yeah, it's money. Yeah, it's yeah, money. That, yeah. there you Only go. Only poor exactly. people die of AIDS now. Yeah. Everybody knows. If you're that. rich, you can beat AIDS. Or yeah. if you won the Olympics, <laughs> Magic Johnson, AIDS, won the Olympics, boom. And rich, beat AIDS. Greg Louganis won the Olympics, rich, beat AIDS. Yeah, like, but his husband beat him, so it's like. Uh, uh, that's true. Oof. That's true. You got domestic uh, battery out of that guy. Yeah. So balances out. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. balances <laughs> out. It's for a give sure. and take. Yeah. Uh, who's your favorite Christian Bale, Dan? Ooh man, I don't know. Batman? Are That's you? no. I actually, d did you see the Dick Cheney movie you did? Yeah, it was fucking Vice. It's called. It was yeah, yeah, really Vice. good. It, it was really good. I thought that was his best because I think that's the that's the first time I've seen him play an actual a real human being that was in the public. Because Dicky he played in sure in the fighter, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't really know about that guy. Yeah, but in Vice, we've seen Dick Cheney on the news for years, and he was so <laughs> fucking accurate. And, and he the, gains two hundred pounds. Yeah, that's the thing about him. He'll die in like four years because you can't gain two hundred pounds no. for roll and then go down to one ten. No. for the next one. Uh, have you ever fucked somebody as Christian Bale? Did you ever pull, pull a lady home? Yeah, do you wear a Batman mask when you're having sex or what? Uh, no. Uh, like I said, the height thing just doesn't work very well because most people realize that I'm three feet tall. Have so you looked at that? <laughs> doesn't work. Have how you looked tall at, are you? Yeah, how tall are you? Five, six. Five, six. Have yeah. you looked into midgets at all? Uh, I mean. Because they won't know the difference. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Very so true. So Batman mask and a midget. Yep, and you're set. We'll hook that up for you. I, no, actually, you know what? I'm uh, my girlfriend would be upset about that, but uh, yeah, I think I, I feel need like to you should get a hall pass for a midget. <laughs> honestly, the legal maximum height for a midget is four eleven. How tall are you? There it is. We got a midget in the house. We got a midget, but you're Asian, so it doesn't count because everybody is kind of four eleven, right? Like everybody is four eleven over there, right? I'm, yeah. to I'm totally kidding. You can call me a round eye, and I'm totally fine with it. You'd be like, oh, the, the white man, the round eye, was making fun of me at the fucking bar today. Yeah. <laughs> I love how excited you were about it. You were super excited to be 4'11". Yeah. <laughs> have you met the 5'6 Christian Bale? <laughs> you guys would have a lovely 5'0 child. That would be amazing. 4'11". Uh, well, well, yeah, 4'11 four, four and a half probably out of the two of you. Oh, four eleven and three quarters. Great. So you're perfectly like Shetland pony height. Like, hey, just put her on a Shetland. <laughs> if we shot her, it looked like she's driving a real horse. Dri That'd be driving a nice thing. Driving, driving a, a horse. horse. How many, ah, whatever. How many I, of those beers have you had? I've had eight. <laughs> People say I'm better on nine, so I'm gonna finish this one. Uh, I bet you there's there's a lot of dudes. We can talk about this later. Sexual fetishes for girls under five feet up, tall. You know that, right? Spinners. Spinners is what they call them in the biz. I got out of that biz a while ago. Uh, strictly went dudes. That's why he's here. You so. make more money in dudes, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, yeah. It, look, you do guy-on-guy guy porn, obviously it pays more. So, uh, <laughs> That's Are you true. a college football fan? I am. Who do you got tonight? Uh, well, my team's not playing tonight, but tonight I would say I'm going for the U. You go, oh, yeah. You're going for the U. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you guys are living in a fucking fantasy world. Yeah, dream world. You're not scared of that seven-point spread. Not really, because I think at that point you're matching athlete to athlete. So you think they're going to be? You think they're going to win, not just beat the spread? I think I think you could probably pull it so out. So the money line is two thirty. You place a bet on it. If you're that confident, you should put some fucking money. Yeah, down. yeah. <laughs> Christian Bale would. That's all I know. You put a hundred dollars in, you get twenty three hundred dollars. Well, I'm also an Alabama fan, so. Are you really? Yeah. Of course oh, you God. are. Jesus I know. I, My God. It was Bama nice fans. talking to you guys. It really was. <laughs> there is. ISIS, and then there's Bama fans. I mean, that, that is the onesie-twosie in the world of well, worst humans on the planet. Definitely not bandwagon. Um, Grandpa, my family's from Alabama. Okay. Um, he I used to tell. actually, uh, yeah, I know, right? Couldn't tell at all. He actually used to uh, recruit for the East Coast of Florida for Alabama back in the day. Uh, no shit. Yeah, Mal Moore, um, Bear Bryant oh, used wow. to 
call my grandpa about recruiting. Actually, uh, Reggie Herring was uh, he was a national championship guy with Bear Bryant. That's great. So um, he's done a lot of that. So it's not bandwagon. I remember the bad years in the early two thousands yep. when we went through five coaches in four years. So yeah, yeah. that was terrible. But um, yeah, so and then Saban came in. Uh, well, the first season was still seven and six, if I'm not mistaken. We were not yeah. super hot the first year, and then after that, it just kind of turned into the program that it is now. So, and you know, the program that it is now is the one that loses to Clemson, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, what, now, yeah. You, last <laughs> year, you guys, no, look, you guys have had a great run. We we actually <laughs> talked about this in our college preview show. Yeah, um, because of your schedule and how easy it is obviously <laughs> we have you guys going into the college playoffs mm -hmm. um but we have you losing to georgia yep. in the sec championship we think two sec teams will actually get in to the finals and then I, I, we think you'll get smoked by clemson obviously if trevor lawrence has a year that he had last year i mean that's just that game was yeah, that's all she wrote i mean yeah. it was unbelievable what they put together as far as the defense and everything else in that game it yep. was i just can't believe it like it looked like a completely different team from the previous 13 games. Yeah, yeah. I 100% agree. And I think they go undefeated this year. And I, I think it could be one of the greatest college football teams of all time. So, look, I went to Ohio State, so we're both fucked, my man. How, uh, yeah, how did that – like, you grew up in Georgia, grew right? Grew up in Georgia. It was the biggest school <laughs> in the nation, and I wanted to go and have the, the college experience. You just wanted to get away. That's, yeah, well, that's it. And so okay. I wanted to go to the biggest college and then live that – whatever my, that version of college life was, right? So yeah, like, yeah. fuck it, let's go to the place where there's 65,000. And believe it or not, football took a big precedent in it. <laughs> People that were older than me that had graduated who had gone to shitty football schools, they were like, dude, don't do it. The partying is not the same, and then you can't fuck the hotter girls at the end of the game because no one cares. And they were like, pick a school where you can absolutely dominate. And I was like, all right, cool. Ohio State was goddamn good at that time same with bama you go to a bama game afterwards those girls are down dude <laughs> everybody's been drinking whiskey all day and all the dudes dress up all the girls are in sundresses it's a better experience than like let's say you go to fucking colorado you know you're not competing for a national championship up there no you're just trying to stay warm so at that <laughs> point it doesn't matter if she's 240 after the game you're just trying to stay warm maybe throw a little buffalo skin on you afterwards you know that's why i went to a good football school because I, I wanted to have the dream, and I, I lived it. But uh, in all seriousness, Bama's like that, too. Like, it's a great fucking school, and it's a, it's a blast to be at. We might actually uh, be going live from the Bama-LSU game if LSU pans out to be any good this year. Yeah, we will. We'll yeah. see you after this Texas game in a couple of weeks. Where do you work? Uh, I actually build golf courses for a living. So uh, I work for a company that does uh, – we build nationally, internationally. Uh, we're actually one of the biggest golf course construction companies in the world. Right now, I'm in Richmond, Virginia, building a top 100 club. Ah, shit. Congratulations. Well, hey, thanks for being on the show. We appreciate it. And, uh, man, don't shave that beard. Play that bail thing until it rides out, man. Will do. And uh, really appreciate you guys showing up. And thank you for the support. Um, couldn't say enough for what you guys do for us. Hell yeah. Yeah, we love this place, man. We love it, man. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Steve, you want to pop on up? Yeah. Come on in. It's our good buddy. Yeah, man. Uh, last year Look. and the year before, we were going to all the Vegas Golden Knights games. Uh, we had the best seats of all time, Boys. courtesy of Mr. Steve Duffy. Steve, you shattered our dreams. Hey, it was a fun year. <laughs> it was a fun year. We went yeah, to it the was. Stanley Cup Finals. We opened up the season in a suite with like 60 people. Damn straight. And it was awesome. Yeah, I yeah. think one of remember that woman. Her name was like Glitter or some shit. What don't know what her name was, but uh, it you was You guys amazing. had some more fun than I was unaware of. Oh, yeah, yeah we've had. I didn't, it's she, Vegas, had lot, she had a lot of drugs on her. <laughs> she was, she was like, like, hey, do you guys want some cocaine? I'm like, yeah, bitch, I want some cocaine. What are you talking about? And I couldn't figure out. I was like, man, everybody's going to the bathroom. and Because it, it was General Sal chicken out. I was like, maybe it's the chicken I'll stay away from. And then homegirl whipped out the, the, the dime bag out. And I was like, well, there we go. Bulls on parade. You know, it's, it's Vegas. It gets a little wild out there. You know, hey, take. Take part. Have it, fun. It does. God yeah. damn it. I loved it. So you switched. You're not on the Vegas Golden Knights anymore. No, no. Uh, working uh, for a team down here now. So uh, so it's exciting. Uh, you know, Florida's my home. So coming back home, being closer to family. Just had my first little one, which, uh, yeah. Yeah. you know, you guys know my wife. and uh, you know, She's awesome, and she's a partier. Yeah. She is a partier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she likes she's a woo fun. girl. Yeah. 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 She likes to party. <laughs> she's a woo girl. She yeah. would have loved that White Claw party last oh, night. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I don't That's, think she's into the White Claw yet, though. You right? know, I, I switched her over. To beer, you know, she's uh, traditional. Vodka, you got to so bring her here. 
Yeah. Yeah, you, you got to bring her check out this fucking place. We were going to bring the baby today, you know? I was like, hey, That would have been awesome. I would have drank with the baby. <laughs> I'm great drinking with babies. <laughs> babies love drinking with me. A lot of people say that. <laughs> I did. Hey, you know, get, get them going early. That's, that's what I say. That's what I say. Are we allowed to talk about your team? Uh, yeah, yeah. Chime in a little bit, you know. Uh, so you, know, you work you know for the, the Orlando rules. Magic now? Yes. 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 How yeah. do you expect the Orlando Magic to be this year? Uh, you know, uh, obviously the East is, uh, is not in a great position right now. So, uh, so you feel pretty good about a team that, that can shoot very well. And, uh, is Aaron you know, Gordon still there? Yeah. Aaron Gordon yeah, But this there? is like yeah. we talked about last night. The last year of his rookie contract. Mm. Yes, it is the last year of his rookie contract. So he's got to ball out this year to yep. get that money. Uh, hey, yep. you know that's sometimes that's the the perfect uh, you know motivation. To get yeah. Look, going. money's always yeah. the motivation. Yeah, it's yeah. either money, pussy, or drugs. Um, <laughs> booze occasionally, yeah. But yeah. I, look, I, I expect a big season out of him. Yeah. The East, I've got the Celtics as a sleeper in that going to the finals. Could be. Um, and I have them beating Milwaukee in uh, the conference championship. It's early, obviously. Yeah. Way too early to be predicting this. Uh -huh. But I'm super drunk, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I think uh, if uh, the Greek freak stays healthy, they'll be back in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. Toronto's going to be blown up now that Kawhi's gone. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look at the formula that the Knights had first year. They had a, a ton of last-year contracts. And, yeah. And, and players that are on the last year of their contract generally perform – to the to the uh, above and beyond capabilities so yep that's uh that's the key man if you can get top production from those guys that are battling for their contracts next year you never know what can kind of come out of that so no 100 percent. i didn't know you were a florida guy because we've been friends for yeah, a couple yeah, years now yeah i didn't know you were a dirtbag florida guy I, hey come on man you know everybody from florida's got a little bit of dirt bag in them you know dirt foot whatever you want to call it you yeah. know we, we we love our lives down here you know dirty foot you get used to it you know? bloodline it's this very bloodline it. down yeah. here look man. Hot. You want to see the Spanish moss hanging down on the trees, you know, get into the lifestyle. And have a light coat of sweat on you at all times. At all times, always, yeah. Always good. Yeah, every always time you good. step outside. I, f <laughs> I feel guilty shaking people's hands because it's so wet where I'm just like, oh, it's, uh, it's not urine or my dick. That's not my dick hand. This is just Florida. This is just fucking Florida right now. You deal with it, man. You deal with it. You do. And again, it's a, it's, it's a lot like Bloodline down here. There's bugs. There's screens. There's all kinds of shit. The TV show. Yeah, yeah. Great TV show. One of the best. Yeah. One of my favorites. Yeah. That's what made me want to. Uh, that's what made me want to move back to Florida. Was, was it really? Bloodline. Yeah. I was like, that's so the way to So a show live. about criminals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Made you want to move back. The, the resort lifestyle. The resort yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Resort lifestyle. Bring that. Bring your pregnant wife back. <laughs> yeah. Get her involved in organized crime. Yeah, and, then, and then that's how you <laughs> that move way, up. Yeah, then the baby gets involved in crime at a young age as well. You right. know, hey, we'll, we'll figure that out when the time comes. You know? <laughs> let him choose for himself. <laughs> yeah, we'll let him choose for himself. I'm, me personally, I'm going to miss you in Vegas because yes. I love going to Vegas. Orlando's is a different city. It it's is. A, it is. There's a lot of traffic. And then we... We, I was talking earlier about that Jesus castle that you guys have on the side of the road. You know, it's the Holy Land experience. Have you it, gone to the Holy Land experience? No, but but listen, my my wife uh, is Albanian, of course, you yep. know, Catholic. She, we are actually dedicated to bringing her parents, who are first first generation immigrants, to the Holy Land experience. Shut up. That, it's going to make their, their year. I'm oh telling you. Oh, my God. Will you get photos of yeah, this? Yeah, can you wear a, a body camera for that whole thing? I, I want to see that so shit. so great. Well, 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 we'll show you the whole full experience. Yeah, then take them to the Creation Museum in Kentucky and see how they like that one, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See if they want to ride a dinosaur, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Steve, we love you, man. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Good You're to see you, boys. You're one of our favorite people in this world. We appreciate you coming out, dude. Hey, man. Always great to see and you. And we're going to stay and get hammered until yeah. right up until game time. I'm with you, man. I'm Hell yeah. You. I'm right here. Let's Hell yeah. It. All right. We're, I, I would, I'd like to have you on. Are you cool to come on? No. Ah, come on. You had some hot takes on Florida earlier. He was not stoked when I started talking about Urban Meyer. He said Ohio State was going to be a disaster no, this I, year. That's not what I said. No, I, I'd, like to, I'd love to have you on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Seriously. How you doing? Uh, state your name for the audience. Joey. Joey, welcome. Uh, just put it right up here. All right. There we go. It's not uh, It's not even for camera. Yeah, it's just for a dick. Um, <laughs> it's just a mock a dick. Uh, so you're a diehard Florida fan. You going to the game tonight? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. great. Uh, when's the last time you guys played Miami? Uh, 2013. How'd that, how'd that end up? Uh, good for Miami. <laughs> not so good for you guys. Not so good, no. How do you think your team's going to do this year? This is a big debate on our show. We did the college prediction show. I think Florida is going to surprise a lot of people here, but it all depends on your quarterback. 
Yeah, but, I mean, last year he threw 24 touchdowns and six interceptions. He had seven rushing touchdowns. He improved from year to year. This year he's going to be even better. So I'm, I'm, I'm all in on Felipe. I think it's going to be great. I do, too. And, I, look, I think it's a two-score game tonight. I think I they win by two scores. I agree. My score that I said earlier was 31-17. 31-17, I like that. Yeah, that's actually. reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I believe the over is 48. So yeah, I think their defense will wear down towards the end, and we'll score a couple more. But yeah, I think I think we're good. Yeah, uh, look, uh, Miami's got a new coach. They got a new quarterback. They got a lot of things to figure out tonight. Um, but uh, they'll all be here. We were talking earlier about Urban Meyer. What's your, as a Florida fan, what's your stance on Urban Meyer? There's a lot of people on our our message board seem bitter about him leaving Florida. <laughs> Great coach, mm -hmm. but everywhere he leaves, he leaves a mess. I mean, when he left, when, even when he left Bowling Green, when he left, uh, you know, when he left Florida, it was criminal you. And now you even heard the thing with Jim Harbaugh two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. yeah coming yeah. out saying, hey, when he leaves, he, he leaves behind a, a trail. Yes. And that's what he's going to do. Hopefully he'll go to Notre Dame and screw them up, too. Um, I. Know, it's funny you say that. So I think because right after he left, uh, a bunch of listeners obviously wrote into the show and said, hey, man, how long until you think he's back in coaching? I said two years, and but I, I said he would go to a, a – he's not going to go to a small school. No. Uh, I've got him I, – I think personally he would go to like a USC. If, if USC has a shitty year, I think he'll go to like a USC. Or if Texas slips, I think he goes down there and fucks Texas, Herman yeah. out of a job just because he hated Tom Herman. Yeah. Uh, but Notre Dame's not a bad one because that's a big program. You can get back on the national stage, and he's a coaching junkie, don't you think? Yeah, oh, yeah. And that was all, his two schools he always had in his contract that he would go to were Ohio State and Notre Dame. So if ah, he, I didn't he know always, about Notre Dame. Yeah, he always had those in his contract because I think his first assistant gig was at Notre Dame, and he's always wanted to be the head coach. I'm kind of so. surprised to hear that, to be honest, because they play by the rules up there. Yeah. Yeah, they do. And he doesn't that, necessarily Maybe that's why they didn't that. hire him. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because, yeah, I, look, that I think – Kelly up there is on a short leash anyways. Uh, Everybody's on a short leash at Notre Dame. Yeah. yeah. I, I, that would not surprise me. That's a, that's a fucking hot take right there. I, yeah. If he, if he went to Notre Dame, it's a big enough school. You're playing every Saturday. Every single game is televised. Yep. Um, that'd be a, a way to hop right back in the national picture pretty easily. And you don't have to go back to the SEC and try to beat those guys. Yep. Uh, pounding their faces in. Because that's got to suck, right? As a Florida fan, when you look at the SEC schedule, I mean, who do you guys have on tap this year? You got... Because uh, Miami is a hard out of conference game. And we got Miami and Florida State out of conference. We've got the usual conference games, and then we've we've got a couple of cupcakes that we I, I don't know who they are this year. I don't pay attention to them anymore. But we all, huh? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we usually we usually have a cupcake towards the beginning, and then maybe two at the end right before Florida State. So, and then we have the SEC slate in between. But then you get Notre Dame that won't join a conference, won't have a set schedule every right. year, and it's ridiculous. Yeah, because I, I believe you guys have LSU on the schedule. Yep. Uh, Georgia? Always. Yeah. So, I mean, look, yeah, we Miami, Florida State, yeah. uh, you, you guys have a brutal schedule yeah, this we year. Pl we play Georgia in Jacksonville every year, so it's a neutral site game. But yeah, yeah, whereas Alabama's playing uh, one non-high school team this year. <laughs> and, uh, you know, boy, for them where to did, go undefeated is, where'd is our, a joke. Where our Alabama fan go? Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our, our, our one Roll Tide fan in the I back. I think they're actually playing the He's South Carolina wake his school for the up. deaf there we go. blind this year. Yeah, they are <laughs> playing, uh, they're playing one deaf school. So yeah. uh, everybody in the stands has got to be quiet because you've got to hear the – Got to hear the clapping. I'm told you can't. You're deaf. There you go. Yeah. It's for the do, Bama fan back there. Do they get a discount when they pay their cousin's tuition? Oh, oh do they get a <laughs> discount for paying their cousin's tuition? No, they just wake them up. They just wake them up and say it's time to go to school. Yeah, they, roll, to to school. they roll over and wake them up. That's where yeah. Roll Tide yeah. came from. Roll tide. Exactly, Roll yeah. Tide. Well, hey, we appreciate you being I here. appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. for being on the show. A lot of and, fun. Uh, let's, get, let's get another Miami fan uh -oh. up here. Not that guy. He had a lot of confidence in Miami. A lot of confidence in Miami. Yeah, that ain't going anywhere either. Yeah, you're, so you're sticking by it. Because we talked oh, before yeah. the show, you were, you were heavy into Miami. You, you think this is the year for Miami. Well, first of all, if you're a Miami fan, every year is the year for Miami. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I had the same guess, 31-17, but for Miami. 31-17 Miami? For Miami. What's your full name? Because when that, when that <laughs> doesn't happen, I want everybody to know that you said that yeah. personally. My name's Chris Kuhn, K-U-H-N. You, you can count on Like John Kuhn. Yeah. Oh. He's a good football player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exa Kuhn. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. I walk into a bar, the same thing happens. Same thing happens. <laughs> uh, where are you from? Are you military? 
Uh, prior military, I was Navy. I was a corpsman uh, stationed with the Marine Corps. So well, you were Georgia side originally. the whole time? Greenside. Good for you. Greenside, yeah. absolutely. You don't want to be Navy. Come on, go. Where's the, any more Navy people in here? Anybody? No. Nobody even no. wants to admit it. They're all Navy. No hey. one else. Yeah. <laughs> Every time somebody asks, I have to say Navy, but I wasn't actually with the Navy. I Navy was with but, the Marines. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Navy's in the butt, so there you go. Did you go to school in Miami? How did you come to cheer for Miami? Yeah, I graduated. I'm actually from Georgia originally. I got out of the military, went down to South Florida, and I graduated from UM. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And That's you got awesome. a degree in cocaine, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so this game is essentially cocaine versus crystal meth. It is, yeah, yeah. true. That, yeah. That, that's true. Yeah. I like Everybody both. talks about the cocaine, but I, the crystal meth in the trailer parks is And the, the bath salts, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah I'm, into, I'm into all those things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let me ask you this. What do you do now? Uh, work for the government, federal government, down in Puerto Rico. Down in Puerto Rico? Yep. You're doing rehab stuff down there? Doing rehab. No, uh, like that environmental rehab and shit like that. Uh, FEMA. Oh, FEMA. Oh, you work yeah. with FEMA? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, did anything happen in Puerto Rico? Totally kidding. Trump doesn't Re- care. Recently, or, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it depends on the day. That's yeah. all he keeps saying is yeah. Trump doesn't care. But it's, it's, it's the government, right? Of Puerto oh, Rico? absolutely. Oh, the it's governor cor- just got booted like a month ago. Yeah. Right? Oh, it's corrupt as fuck. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you boot one out, there's another one in, and they're still corrupt. So, hey. I, look, Did- I'm actually glad you're on the show because Trump took take a bunch of heat for that. Yeah. With the Puerto Rico station, it's like so everybody who's been down there is like, no, you don't understand what the fucking government's like. like it- they won't give aid to the people. Exactly. I mean, Trump deserves his fair share of criticism on for twitter mostly but yeah i mean yeah. when he went up against the mayor of san juan i mean she's yeah she's the worst right <laughs> she's the worst yeah you can just say yeah, she's the worst absolutely because yeah. there was overhead shots of crates of water that wasn't being delivered and all that stuff like it, it's just an ineffective government all the way around so that's crazy so what do you do down there to to help make it effective I don't do anything to help the local government make it effective. Oh, it, really? It, you it's just impossible. Help ours? Yeah, yeah, I'm federal government. So okay, cool, cool. Yeah. You staging a coup? <laughs> you staging no, a coup to get no. those motherfuckers out of there? No, I, I definitely can't be on the record saying anything like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about this show because I get to incriminate strangers who I don't know. Um, I, how long have you been in Drinking Bros? Uh, just about a year now. Nice. Yeah, nice. but uh, the fake news show every Friday, that, that, that's my go-to. Yeah, every, everybody <laughs> loves fake news. Oh, it's amazing. Amazing. Uh, well, look, man, uh, thanks for coming out. We're fucking amped to have you. <laughs> um, and uh, Cooper, Mr. Cooper, should come on up, dude. He was talking a lot of shit earlier about <laughs> your fantasy football team, my Time man. Time to back it up. Fantasy football draft is this week for Drinking Bros Sports. You... My man played in Drinking Bros uh, Fantasy Football League last year. You're playing in it this year. Yes, sir. Um, tell the audience how bad I smoked the entire league last year. Uh, it was a little embarrassing, but uh, this year won't be the same. You think this year's your year? My year, for sure. Okay. Why, and what gives you that type of confidence? Who's your sleeper this year? You got uh, some good sleepers? I do. You can, you can tell me. Mm, no, not today. I know the inside and out. Thursday. Of, uh, Thursday, I'll tell you. Thursday, okay. After I pick it, I'll be like, hey, this was it. Well, drafts, we're going to know on... Tuesday or Wednesday, whichever night you're drafting. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah so we'll yeah, know so that. Yeah, well, yeah, Wednesday. The main and also, one. we're going to be in studio live on YouTube talking shit to you turds for all the dumb picks you make the whole night. Yes. So. Uh, so we'll, and we'll none be, of it will be my picks. <laughs> yeah, well, it will be we'll live see, on air, take a so that way that video too. will live forever of all of your awful picks. Oh, yeah, we'll cut yeah. down the video to just your picks. <laughs> yeah. So there won't we be have one nothing but time on our hands, brother. I know. I'm thinking about round 10, I'll go ahead and get the kicker because the rest of the team is going to be perfect. That's terrible. That's very it's kicker last round. Anybody doing fantasy oh, football? Man. Kicker Just to rub last it in, round. I want to win and say I took kicker in the tenth round. Take a kicker first round, then by all means. <laughs> Take Not that Justin confident. Justin Tucker with the first pick in the draft and <laughs> Not see that how confident. that works out. He's a great kicker. He is He's a really great kicker. But they're all okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, we we look forward to uh, to playing against you this year. You got a Florida Gators shirt on. Did you graduate from there? Or just a fan. Just a fan. Forty-one seventeen. Forty-one seventeen Gators. Yes. Okay. I, I, I could see it happening. It could get some Miami fans are chirping back there, yeah, but I can, yeah, I can see it happening. If Florida really wants to pull it off, go four wide, uh-huh. take the strength of Miami defense is their linebackers, take them off the field, make them run nickel. Yep. And it's game over. Game over. Well, hey, we'll find out. How do you think Franks is going to do this year? And Frank. Yep. And how do you think Anne Frank? She's is still hiding. Be? She's still hiding. Yeah, still <laughs> hiding. What's uh, how, how do you think Felipe Franks is going to do this year? I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. He, he's going to get some Heisman talk, but he won't be there. No, I don't think he's getting any, any Heisman talk. But he will. I, maybe from you. I don't know from anyone else. <laughs> I don't know anybody else. Don't worry. I'll message Heisman you. Talk. You'll get the talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, look, he's a, he's a 
uh, a Tim what? Leak. Just watch. Wasn't he that? was third in the SEC in touchdowns last year. Was he really? Yeah, for quarterbacks. God, that's hard to believe. He just did not look good. Uh, maybe exactly. Like, what he, 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 got, he even got benched right? in the game. Yeah, he got benched so in the game. So imagine this year. Yeah, 24 touchdowns. One, touch, one touchdown against Tennessee. That's a limited career. Well, look, Haskins had 50 last year, so he went and doubled him up. So I, I can't even hear that. But I look, I, I think, again, I think they, they surprise a lot of people. Kind of plays. Yeah, he kind of plays for the Redskins. We'll see what happens with Haskins this year. But uh, I, think, I think Florida, again, surprises a lot of people. I think they have a decent record and, mm-hmm. and two scores tonight. And we schedule. beat Georgia. Watch. Wow, where's it at? Jacksonville. It is in Jacksonville. Every year. Every year. For the, it's the world's largest cocktail Outdoor, party well, in the world. Know, they want to change that, but yes. Why? Because people are getting fucked up. And everyone's offended by everything. Uh, yeah, everybody is offended by everything. <laughs> But that's one of those games where it's just like there's choke sex after that game. <laughs> you get, that's, how, that's how hammered you get at that game. There's choke sex after it. And that's men and women. Look, I, I, that's when women go for your throat, too. And you're like, well, fuck it. It's Georgia, Florida. The world's largest cocktail hey, party. Only happens once a year. Yeah, it does. It does. That's it. <laughs> um, thanks for being on the show. We appreciate it. Thanks for having it. me, guys. Thanks, man. Uh, thanks for your services. Is Doug here? Or did Doug bounce? I don't know. Uh, he might have bounced. He might he have bounced. He may be on the other side of the building. Probably. Probably. He's probably making beer. Um, yes, you, sir. Come on up. Yeah. Come on up, my man. Yeah. D- don't take your time, though. Let's, let's. My God, you are peacocking up here. <laughs> peacocking. It's an audio show. Somebody's got to grab the mic, my man. Come on up. I Welcome. absolutely know nothing. No, you do. But you got a Miami football shirt on. Who do you got in the game tonight? Of course the Canes. What am I going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? Go but, against the Canes? No way. But do you that honestly believe be. they got a, a decent team this year? With Jared Williams? Who knows? Okay. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, hell, we had Ja'Cory Harris. I mean, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't get any worse than that. We wouldn't even say his name. We would say number 12. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a feeling the reason why you're this hammered is because you're afraid of this game tonight. Oh, I've never been scared in my life. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. Uh, we talked to your daughter on FaceTime today. Earlier. Yes, you did. She had a Black Rifle Coffee t-shirt on. She bought a copy of Thank You for My Service. Uh, two copies. She went back to the store and got it. That's right. She's, she's awesome. So did you find out about Drinking Bros through her, or was that you? No, I actually found out... At through my buddy Chris Beersworth, okay. who's in Drinking Bros. Yeah, we saw, we saw him in uh, Bragg. Beersworth. Yeah. You, met him at, you met him at Bragg. Best last name of all time. Oh, Beersworth. without a doubt. Yeah. That's why he's so excited met, all the goddamn time. Yeah. <laughs> I met him in high school at a bus stop. We were going to meet the, catch the bus to high school, and I met this guy there, and we've been friends ever since. No shit. Unbelievable, dude. That's awesome, man. Unbelievable. Well, look, your daughter couldn't have been nicer. Um, your your family's amazing, and you're headed. You're going to the Drinking Bros cruise. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Will I you can't make wait. it to the night? Because I, I, there's going to be a lot of Coors Light buckets. Oh. I can see you getting housed off of it. Oh, we'll be rolling. I'm sure. We'll be rolling. <laughs> the first night on the cruise, no yeah. drink package. We're bringing a bottle, a couple bottles of wine to get riled up on. God damn right you are. I can see you taping a box of Franzia to your back. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I like that just idea. Going over the shoulder. A little box wine. You yeah. Know, we'll, you know, we can rock that out all night long. Well, hey, man, thanks hot, for being on the hot show. Hot tub it. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. hot tub it. Hey, we're going to get the owner on. Come on up. Yes, the owner of Tactical Brewery. Come on up. Uh, thank you for being on the show. Looking forward to having you on the cruise, thank man. You. Yeah, and, we'll uh, see you in two weeks. Tell your daughter we said hello. What's her name? Give Kayla. her a shout out. Kayla. Great, good job, Last Kayla name? White. Kayla White. There we go, Kayla White. Uh, thank you, Kayla, by the way. We talked earlier. Thanks for, for your support. Come on up. We got the owner of Tactical Brewery. Passing off the torch. Passing What's up, guys? Passing the torch. How are you, my man? Good, good. Thank you for having us. No. Uh, we got to chat a little bit earlier um, about the brewery and, and why you decided to do it. Um, what, what made you get into brewing beer in the first place? The uh, Go figure Marine Corps. We, uh, we drank a lot. Actually, a lot of my buddies made fun of me for getting into craft beer and hoppy yeah. beers and that kind of stuff. But when Were I they got drinking out- like military special vodka from the PX or some shit? <laughs> the fuck out of here. 
No. Pinky's out. Pinky's out. No. <laughs> the the funny thing about it is that there was a, you know, you go back eight to ten years and like craft beer was like, oh, what are you, a hipster? What are you, a hipster? Yeah, yeah. Now had to grow out the man bun. Yeah, it's that. become everything. And you're like, dude, <laughs> if, it, if, this, if it's not a high ABV, I'm not drinking it. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, there's no point to drink a bunch of Bud Lights when I can have a good IPA I actually enjoy. And yeah. you're looking at like seven and a half percent. But yeah. Uh, what, what branch were you in? Uh, Marine Corps. Uh, I was a rifleman, so just bullet sponge. Um, uh, three nine. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, and nice. And how long have you been here at this location? So we opened about nine months ago on Veterans Day. Oh, right on. Uh, yeah, man. So we we got the space a couple years ago. Started. We did most of the construction ourselves, me and Chris. And uh, yeah, opened the doors. Now we can finally start. Serving veterans, first responders in the area, yeah. everyone else, it's cool. Everybody says that, you, that you're always packed and that you're, you have to close down a couple days a week. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, right now, if we open every day, we'll run out of beer. So we're at four days a week. and No shit. Yeah. Look, Dan and I go to a, a bunch of breweries around the country. This is sincerely one of the yeah, best. Yeah, this is the best one we've been to. Yeah, this is sure. one Thanks, of the best guys. ones we've been to. There was one in Dallas that was great as well. Uh, that we enjoyed. Yeah, it was good. But this, man, because we're drinking the crayon eaters right now. Yeah, we had to make fun of ourselves. I'm actually so. drinking, drinking the Melinferno, which is a sour. Shout out to nice. uh, Intercoastal in Melbourne. We did that yeah, one with He's them, got a so. can of it right there. Hold that can up. Yeah. Uh, so are, are you guys canning or is this? That was our first can release. We actually we sold out in three hours, but we're going to start doing some more as soon as we get some more equipment in. Wow. Look at that, man. I, look, it's one of those places, though. We, we know, Dan and I know, because, again, we, we travel so much. You go in, everybody's got their favorite brew places, but usually it's kind of shitty where you're just like, all right, cool. <laughs> we stepped in here and we had your beer. I was like, oh, dude, I bet you this guy sells out and he's out yeah. of his space. Yeah, no, we'd rather dump it if we didn't like it. So Yeah, yeah, and if you start canning, good luck, man. That's going to be amazing. Now I showed you what the designs look for, like Crayon Eater and stuff. It'll be, we just have fun with it, man. So. Yeah, yeah. I, look, if you're in the Orlando area, you've got to come to Tactical brewery um and inside by the way the decor yeah, and everything it's fucking is nice man i mean it's nice as shit especially Thanks, especially with this humidity i don't want to go outside at all i'm gonna sit in this ac <laughs> and drink all day yeah, we got the like game the video starts. games and stuff yeah, yeah you got mike tyson's punch out you got old school shit over constantina there. wire up there so. yeah <laughs> yeah i'm a i'm a big fan of it uh so I, i'd say what we would love to give you drinking bro of the week uh for hosting us here um yeah. is there anybody that you possibly uh, would like to give your drinking bro of the week to that helped you or inspired you or made any of this happen with, as far as getting a brewery started? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll give Brett a shout out over there, wherever he's hiding. He was on earlier. Okay. Yeah, man. He was, he's, he's pretty pivotal in, in all this, too. And uh, The golf yeah. course guy, Christian Bale. You mean. Yep, yeah, Christian yeah. Bale. Yeah, the mini Christian Bale. Or the bro at Bree, my, my better half. She's, she's helped a lot along the way. And What's buried. her name? Brie. Brie. Yep. yep, like the cheese. So. Yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Brie. Do you guys have any outside investors or is, is it all just you it's guys a, right it's now? It's us, man. Yeah. Man. So, is, is that the goal long term? Like, uh, Yeah. We, we figured, you know, I pulled a loan out for it and that way we had full control over like quality above all uh, and just kind of roll with it, you know. That's amazing, man. Hey, look, uh, thank you for having us here. We greatly appreciate it. You were gracious enough to open up your doors on an off hour for us. Uh, you have actual customers here from Orlando who we've horrified. <laughs> yeah, they all look like they have PTSD over there now. Definitely never come back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the girl who was four foot eleven, I'm super sorry. I, I'm super sorry. You're four foot eleven. You're, I'm super sorry, but you're cute as a button. You are. You really are. And you'll make a, a happy spinner for somebody one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. All white people look alike. All white people look alike. Uh, <laughs> thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Again, if you are in Orlando, Florida, come to Tactical Brewery. Uh, to the Canes fans, to the Gator fans, I wish you the best of luck. We just want to see a good game tonight. Yeah, uh, well, I, I want to see somebody sad. But, but we also, yeah, we also want to see Gators plus seven. So uh, they've got to <laughs> cover. We've got $1,000 on it. So they've got to cover. Uh, thank you for having us. Yeah. For D'Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. We're the drinking bros. Good night, everyone. Yeah.